Welcome to Dubai in the HSBC World 7 Series. Firstly, no sign of Fiji. So it'll be Argentina taking on Ireland, USA against Australia, France and New Zealand, and quarterfinal four, South Africa against Samoa. Asking for it out wide and connecting with Conroy, who has space now. Conroy steering in, cutting in, and now exploding away on the other side. Jordy Conroy is there. Big call of him on the sideline, but you know when he comes on, he's going to have a good effort. He's got it in the tank, got caught in the last time he found some space on this near side, but here he goes. Start on the seven series, Jordan Conroy. Oh, nicely done by the USA. Now yeah, Perry Baker on the right side, trying to get on the outside of Roach, now going on the inside of Lawson. What pace, what class. We are looking at one of the superstars in our game, Perry Baker. You can't coach class. And that is why there is a 30-foot poster of this guy adorning the stand. Sounds of the sevens, but I tell you what, this is the sight of it, Roach evaded inside outside lawson done baker is soaring now she goes quickly back to the locker let's saw that little hitch kick oh the twinkling feet akila rockolisoa leaves them for dead oh i can't wait to see this replay this is gonna be a banger a solo effort scintillating ah oh, county's monaco's finest putting on a show. Go in front, Fisher away for Murphy. And now they have the lead. He brings it closer to the uprights as well to set up a kind of shot on goal. Clearly we can't see him over that. The assistant referees are happy that they won't. That was a quick straight, tap so we taken. Off. They knew they were caught short defensively, Samoa. They do like these angled runs. And then the change of direction from Ward. And he's found a way through the tackle of Williams. Zach Ward. He's used those big wide hips to his advantage and he's opened the scoring in the semi-final. What they did is they used Comerford to set up the first phase and they bounced back to blind with their big man. Nice late switch between McNulty and Ward. Here's Esdale. Baker to his right, bounces off one. There's the pass and Perry Baker will score from there all day long. That's what they needed. Just a bit of daylight for Perry. Roach, Roach, it just opens up for him and he will win it for Ireland. The Ireland Sevens are through to the cup final in Dubai. Oh, he's such a smart player, Mark Roach. If you get a quick clean heel there at the scrum. Ireland 12, USA 7. The Irish will go for gold. Drop 10 away, Nashu quick to it. It is on wide left here for New Zealand. That's the way they head. Now they spin it across the line and the try is on the board. And it's Tanitao with the five pointer. And exactly as prescribed, these big powerful wingers just waiting for a bit of possession out wide. Caleb Tangitao, just 19 years old. Average age of this Kiwi team 27, but it's the stars on show from the younger crop that really are impressive. This Come is a big, big moment. Play spinning it to the left. Dupree will do it himself. OK, we'll level. The two men you want in conjunction in the midfield would be Duarte with his hot stepping skills. The threat he possesses bought a little bit of space for Branco Dupree. He's been there, seen it and done it. Now the penalty for the Woods box. They go quick. They go to Duarte. Tricky Ricky, Ricardo Duarte put down, one away. It's there though for Funbark and they get it done. What an incredible finish from the Blitzbox. The defending champions have come back from 12 points down 
to beat New Zealand. Oh, they're going to get another try, New Zealand. It's Amanaki Nicole. Sinbind in the semi-final proved crucial to the outcome of that game, but he's got to try in the bronze medal match. <laughs> it's apologising for not passing to Dixon on the inside. Sorry, Captain. I did try. Perry Baker was in the pathing lanes, but here we go. Dixon whips it on the inside. This is the broken field that New Zealand love to thrive in. It's really starting to ramp up here. I feel like we've really come through the other side of COVID. It is a full house now. And we are set, ready to go in Dubai. With the blitz box as they work it in the direction of one of their flyers and Van Vyck splits them open. It's a blinding start from the flyer. Oh, South Africa. Really had played with tempo on day two. And Van Veit, look at those Razzly feet from the number 20. And the perfect start. They blitz it straight off the kick off there, Rob. Outstanding. Feeding it early for Duplessis, delaying the switch. Van Veit still going and now stepping through. He's quick, he's rapid, and he's putting his team in front by 12. I'll tell you what, that whole build-up was impressive. They were so composed. We're South Africa, the recycle was supreme. Set play nicely to create some runners here, but Soizwap is read it. Outside in, and away goes Shakes. Soizwap. Well, I think this guy from the semi-final was fantastic. Really did save South Africa both defensively and offensively. Penalty again. How many more till South Africa lose a man? Try it. Okay. Kelly is in. Lost here, and they might go for more. Zane Davids. He can't hang on. We're coming back. First one. And Geordie Wade may just say, that's it. He does. It's official. Nobody does it in the desert like South Africa. That's their fourth straight title in Dubai. Too good for Ireland in the cup final. Full time the score, 21 points to five. Well, with that cup win, South Africa now find themselves equal with the Aussies atop the ladder. Here we go, the Blitzbox, number one in Dubai.